Good morning, puppies. It's April and I need to defrost my windows. Everyone, happy Bushy Rood Spring Fest Day at BSF down in California. But unfortunately, I do live in the Ohio area, so I'm not gonna fly halfway across the country to go. Instead, I have another Vanguard event today. That's right, we're going down to Louisville for TCG Con, and they're having a big Vanguard D event. So we're all packed up, ready to go. Hit the road, get my raised energy for the drive down there, and I'll see you guys in Louisville. So today we are at Trading Card Game Con, which is, well, a trading card game con. It's right here. I have the website up because I was stupid and didn't record nearly enough footage at the actual place, but whatever. You'll see some more. We'll show off the site. We'll show off the site. We were here. Louisville. That's okay. Click it. Yeah, it's literally 10 billion trading card games. I played Vanguard. For the event itself, I mainly went for the Overdress D format, mainly because premium, I'm really out of practice there. Like, I've got a couple of decks. I have Order Mega Colony, um, Die Liner. Comment below if you want to see either of those deck profiles or show them off. I also have a couple other things that I'm working on there, including an upcoming video. But today was all about the deal. Oh God, it sounds bad. Um, so make sure you stick around to the end to see what deck I played. There'll be, a, there'll be a deck profile. Make sure you check it out. So just got down here to the convention center. And one thing I never noticed until I put in directions. Guess where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys didn't know, I also do a bunch of roller coaster videos. So make sure to check those out. This is Kentucky Kingdom down in Louisville, right by convention center. And if you want to see a couple videos on the park, I have done them in the past, so I'll just go ahead and do a tell card to one of those. But make sure you check it out. Whoever's not with Michael. Hey, there you go. Hello, Michael. So, Mark. That's me! Yeah, Action is them. So, we ended up just splitting top eight because no one wanted to play it out, and we made a decent size of money without having to play it. So, um, I'll got to head home now. Take care of some things, but I'll get you guys the deck that I played as soon as we get back there. See you later, card game thing. See you next time, roller coaster thing. So, the deck I ended up bringing today, which I think was probably my more competitive deck, Gravidia, 
freaking love my space waifus. I was also considering doing something like Bear Magnus or Magnolia, but both of those decks I am to say a couple key cards still, so it's not the fully built version or whatever. It's literally literally right here. I can't highlight it. Let me highlight it, Kaju Waifus. Not my monster girls. I'm not a furry. So let's go ahead and look at the deck itself and talk a little bit about the matchups, I guess. So as you can see, we're doing more of the pure video list. I like I understand world. I understand the appeal of having that extra one to two beefy boy bodies for shadow tokens, but I just this is no room. There's no tech room. You're already running 10 billion orders. Why are you gonna run more? And get rid of the most consistent grade one turn in the universe. Granted, looking at the how the right line works, really grade one is like the win condition of the game. Because you just ride it and hit up to seven rocks. Ridiculous. But uh, grade two realistically does nothing. You still blast everything draw hard. The uh, rest of the list is pretty standard, I think, for the new video build. We run three of both the new cards that are both amazing. There's a link up wherever side it goes to a video I did last Halloween for my Halloween video and kind of talked about why these cards are so good. But yeah, three of each of those, Recursion. Kitty Cat, this is my tech for a day. One Kitty Cat. When it hits, you search your deck or drop zone for one rock, put in your order zone, and if you search your shelf. So it gives you some on-hit pressure, which is great for the mirror match, and also just gives you another way to recycle meteors. Like, it gives you the ability to start to turn off on four or something, or say you blow everything and you want one back. It's ridiculous. Uh, this card, I didn't like her, honestly. I didn't like her, honestly. I never had the five rocks ready for her, plus five, plus five, so that's gonna get swapped out for something. <laughs> Perfect guards, triggers, whatever. This is a good, funny thing. This is a good, funny thing. Those of you guys that don't know how this over trigger works, it effectively doubles the power and critical of all your front row when you hit it offensively. And Gridia's effect, when you hit her at her full power, at her nuke five rocks effect, doubles the effect of all your triggers. So effectively that gives you two over trigger effects, which doubles your attack and critical twice. If you do this, you can make Rearguards basically swing for like four damage, Vanguard swing for, I think you get like up to 16 if you do it optimally. It's a silly OTK card, and if you hit it, it goes off and you win the game right there. And rocks, four of the good rock, eight of the normal rock. I found this is a pretty consistent number just to have eight and four. I might change it around a little bit because there were a couple games that I did end up breaking today for some odd reason. Round by what rounds. Round one, play prison. I was not meant to win that game. That's all I have to say. I was not meant to win that game. Uh, it's a really weird matchup given that they have a m much better control deck that basically siphons all my resources compared to me just nuking the field every turn. And like game one, I didn't draw triggers. Game two, I only drew triggers. I just, I was meant to not win that game. Round two was Brucey Boys. Uh, that's a pretty good matchup for Gravity. I think honestly, like they didn't really have any field recovery outside of maybe a Leonard play. And yeah, I just new board go rar. I go first, I go rar before they're able to get to their grade four turn. And I think like, yeah, I actually whiffed one of those games completely. That was one of the two, yeah, there was two times this tournament that I hit my grade one turn and did not see a single meteor. This was one of those times. But I still won the match, so whatever. It's just really weird that like how consistent the meteors are now, you can still easily whiff them. Uh, round three, what was that? Oh my god, round three. PBD! I played Peter Butter Dragon! I played against Peter Butter Dragon! Oh my god, that was actually a really hype game. And I mean, like, this is one of those rogue decks that you don't see at all. Respect to PBO next set when it comes out. Like, I'll do a set five video at some point. I have a lot to say about set five. But, um, it was surprisingly a close game. We both retired each other's stuff nonstop, and it actually came down to game three at in time in terms the whole damage thing end of turn three stipulation. You know how time goes, but like it was it was actually surprisingly close. The fact that I took PVD to game three in time. Uh, round four, I went back to my cursed table because there was actually a table that I sat at 
and every time I was paired there, I lost that round. So, once again, I went down to that table, and it's time to play against Bear Magnus. Uh, this was a much closer game. I got him almost, I got him to deck out one game, I think, yeah, one game I got him to deck out. But the other two, Keenly Rudely Exists. For you guys that don't know this card, if you play Bear Magnus, you basically get to cycle any number of cards from your soul back into your deck. So it prevents the deck out, and it lets Bear Magnus just recklessly soul charge and not really care. It's a stupid card. It makes the it makes that deck win. And that deck did win. Once again, it's another awkward matchup where we're both kind of playing retire based deck, except for his retire goes to soul, mine just blows things up. I just have to go first, I guess. Like, Bear is a very high roll deck. It's a very high roll deck, but it gets there, not stop. Then, final round was another Bruce thing. Uh, same as last, just good matchup, surprisingly. Even though Bruce has so many cool techs that they can do, like, Dark State Respect. Dark State Respect. You guys know that I'm more of a Greed on player. If you didn't check out my Greed on playlist right there. But, um, Bruce is a good deck. And there's a cool, bunch of cool variants you can do with it. I just happened to beat it with Gridia. So that was my day at Trading Card Game Con down in Louisville. Did pretty good in the tournament, could've done better, but I mean we still made top cut and made banks, so it counts, whatever. Got to check out a couple of new games, I'll have some links in the description below to the ones I checked out, I guess. And speaking of making games, don't forget to check out Skyridge Games, because I'm working on a couple of those, I swear to god I'll update that, that channel eventually. As always, if you want to help support this channel, make sure to check out my store on TCG Player for all sorts of Vanguard deals, and of course, Raise Energy, the Drill. And if you like this kind of video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like or a comment down below. Maybe subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, I'm getting, I'm getting to sleep now. I'm tired. This has been a long day of sleep time. Good night. Oh yeah, always embrace the infinite.